Now, a little recap of what happened a few weeks ago. Not even, let me put it this way, last week. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you have seen and we have been already to the hospital. We got our appointment and we found the whole clinic where we thought we were going to go for to get the baby, like for birth and delivery and getting the baby here. Last week has been a little bit unpredictable. I have been, I would say, three times at the clinic. This is the situation of, I don't know, it's just weird. So I had a a hospital appointment last week and that was based on the fact that when we initially booked our appointment we thought everything was just going to be okay natural everything is fine okay, breathe, breathe out. so last week I've been like at the clinic I would say two to three times Tuesday I was at the clinic Thursday Wednesday I was at the clinic and Thursday just because I have discovered something maybe we didn't expect that was going and I had to go to the clinic and do more consultation to see how we can best handle the situation. It's a week to my due date and discovered the baby is still in a bridge position. So is this your baby is lying bottom? If your baby is lying bottom or feet first they are in a bridge position. So if they are still in a bridge in a bridge position at around 36 weeks, you have to consult uh, your midwife or your your doctor and see what would be the option for the safe delivery. So basically, around after the 36th week, your baby should already have the head down facing the the opening of the cervix or the opening of the uterus, which is the cervix, so that they can engage and start their way process of coming to this world. I'm a week already to the due date and the baby is still in a bridge position. So this is just kind of concerning. Initially, before the 36 week, we thought, okay, good, we have just enough time. Then every time I was like, um, Checking with the with the doctor I was like no, there's time. Let's wait. And I was just so, so being very hopeful like okay Let's it's going to go. Maybe the baby is still going to take this a chance to that Some research say there's still a chance that the baby can turn and on my last When I went to the first consultation on Monday, they was like, oh my goodness Okay, what if your baby turns you still there's still a chance. That's what was communicated to me a week to do date Baby is still in a bridge position and then the nurse start feeling like, oh my goodness, we have to think of what is the best way for your delivery. And this is now a new clinic that was recommended to me because the clinic that we have booked before, they didn't have the option to actually deal with a birth when a birth, the baby is still in, a, in this position. And you can't believe what was first recommended. I just went there. I got, I had to sign in all the form and talk to the nurse. And the next thing is, okay, good. Uh, we are going to try as soon as possible. I had to go outside of the consultation room and wait for like 30 minutes to get an answer. Like if we can get you, a, if we can get you a consultation with a special doctor today. Ali is not even there with me. Eight. I waited outside and they say, this doctor is not there. Mm. Said we can give you an appointment for the next day. You have to come in the next day early in the morning and have a consultation with the doctor. But I was like, okay, I really wanted to know what is it or what do I expect or what should I expect from the consultation or what is this going to be about the following day when I come here because at least maybe I can discuss with my partner at home when I come here by myself the next day we can move forward because they're still not allowing people in the hospital except like it's exactly during birth so I would just I had to go all the time by myself 
First, so Vanessa say, since it's already a week to due date, what they recommend for me is, it's called, I think, uh, is, is, if, EC, ECV or something like that. Ext now, let me just make sure that I'm using the correct terms. EC for, um, so it's called EC, ECV, and this is like, uh, what is it called? ECV stands for external cephalic version. Is a procedure where the doctor can actually manually Turn the baby. It's an external procedure. They just need to put their hands on, like on your uterus and on the stomach, and turn the fetus manually if it's still in a bridge position post 38 weeks. And they gave me an appointment to come in the next day and get that done because it had to be done the next day. Came home. I think first I took a nap and then later I was like, okay, let me check on YouTube or on internet what is this about and how do we would do this? What are the risks involved and all sort of things. Short, I checked on YouTube and these are not like vlogs and stuff. I just checked like uh, medical channels that have uh, short clips, animation or also some, maybe a two minute clip about them. Um, conducting the procedure it is scary like when I saw how that was it was like wow I'm away to my due date this thing is scary I've never heard about it before not sure and I have to decide and I have to go in the I, I literally have like half a day to decide and go in the next day and get the thing the procedure done so they you need two people one is going to hold the he baby's head uh, externally, like with both hands, and the other one has to locate the baby's butt. Then they cover your stomach, like the full abdomen with a lot of gel. Usually, I think the gel that they use for utero or for, for ultrasound, and they just turn, like slowly turn the fetus in a position that they wanted to be, which is now head facing down. Sounded, it did look scary. And you also needed, I also needed to look at the, the risk that was coming with it, like uh, emergency C-section, because maybe during the movement, they can cause some damage to the Placenta or the abrica cold and the baby's heart rate might reduce drastically and they just have to take you to an emergency C-section and deliver the baby afterward. Then they had also to give you some medication to relax the muscles for you to, for them to be able to kind of manipulate or it just becomes a little bit more flexible to move around the baby in the uterus when the muscles of the uterus are relaxed. I read that briefly and it just, it freaked me out. I was just, I've never heard about it before. And the fact that it's a week before the due date, I don't have a lot of time to think about it. I was freaking out. I have already the appointment in hand the next day. <sighs> Conflicted. I decided to I talked to mom. I did actually did talk to my mom because my mom has been working as a midwife for, for a long time. Also, this procedure is not always successful. It was people would just have to try it if it works or not. But I was just like, okay, if it does not work, then I end up might end up in an emergency cesarean section. Heart of it. Next day came. I called them in the morning and I was like, okay, good. I don't think I'm going to do this, just considering the risk, because I also had to sign then the, the risk that comes with it before the doctor would do the procedure. And I just called them and I said, no, I don't think I'll be able to, I don't, I don't feel my instinct is telling me this is probably, might be too much risk for me, considering that I'm just a week away. Put that down and 
cancelled the appointment and decided I'm going to follow my instinct and wait. Then other stuff then beside what was recommended by the doctor, which is manually turning, is I'm now at home every single day trying 15 minutes other procedures that natural procedures to turn the baby around. So so 15 minutes during the day I'm lying on my bed with my like uh, with my feet up on the couch where my head is down on the floor to see the baby would turn manually. Oh, then I'm doing also the kita pose, like the yoga kita pose with, what is it called? Children pose from the yoga classes, if you know about it, where you're actually kind of in a squat position, leaning forward. So apparently gives the baby more room in the uterus for them to then turn the fetus to turn around. So that's what I'm doing. And in the meantime, I'm just waiting. This procedure did actually sound... I just, it just scared me, maybe because I've never heard about it before, or maybe because just I did, didn't have enough time to to really digest it before I was, you know, it was like, now, do it now, or do it tomorrow, and that's it. If there's anybody here who have heard about the procedure, or maybe want to know a bit about it, you can just leave that in the comment section. Otherwise, yeah hoping for the best and hoping things are going to get better and even if they don't get better I hope when I go to the hospital then they are now aware of the situation and then they just take uh, good care of me and we proceed with precautions what has been happening and overwhelming frightening especially when I had to make the decision right I mean I literally had to make the decision right away it was uh, scary. I'm just, I'm happy that I had a chance to come home. And I will end the video here. Uh, yeah, hoping for the best. And what can I say? I need prayers. See you in my next video with all this. I need prayers. I'm trying to keep stay positive and just enjoy the few days that are remaining and see you in our next video. Hopefully I do have to get in normal get normal contraction and take the process naturally or otherwise then another thing is also if then the contraction do not come on time then an induction but we have to see that. Yeah, see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.